Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Sit and Crochet. In today's tutorial, we've brought this lovely top-down raglan sweater. What I love about this is you can make this in any size. All you need to know is this one little trick. Before we go any further, why don't you click on that subscribe button that you'll find at the bottom right corner. As the name suggests for this um, sweater, it's a top-down sweater. So we're gonna start from the neck. We're gonna make this ribbing and then we're gonna work our way downwards and to make this ribbing the neck you're gonna do this you're gonna have to know your size before um we go about making this and to do that i've done a tutorial on that before i'm gonna leave the link in the description box below so you want to check that quickly and then come back to this before we go any further begin the neck ribbing for the size i'm making it's gonna be a very small size since it's a uh, sample of what this is um I'm gonna start with uh, the grey and I will begin with my 3mm hook. For the rest of the sweater, I will work with a 4mm hook. So I'm just gonna make uh, the number of chains I need for the size that I'm making. And you go on and make however many chains you need for your size. And let me meet you once I've got the number of chains. So I've chained about 38 the size that I'm making it's gonna be very small and what you're gonna do next you want to make sure your chain is flat all the way to the very end and then you're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch that you made just like that and then you are going to chain one and in the very first place that you slip stitched you're gonna place a half double crochet just like that and you're gonna go on placing half double crochets all the way around once you reach the end you want to count making sure you have this very same number of chains that you made is the very same number of half double crochets you have so I'm gonna just go around placing my half double crochets so now that I've reached the very last I'm going to slip stitch into that chain one that I made just like that and then we'll chain one and now this is where we start working on the ribbing so in case you get lost you can just take that apart again once we hold it like this, you're going to see that this is our very first half double crochet that we made. So that's why we're going to be working our first front post double crochet. So you chain one, yarn over, and you want to stretch your work out a bit like that. And you want to go right behind this first half double crochet that you made. And make another half double crochet. Just like that. So we're going to be alternating between front and back post um, half double crochet. And the next one is a back post half double crochet. So we're going to go from the back. Grab our yarn like that. Pull it through. Yarn over. Pull through all three loops. To do that again for the next one, which is this one right here. Just like that, pull it through. We've got three loops on the hook and you pull through everything. So you're just gonna alternate between front post and back post half double crochet. And you do this all the way to the end of the row. And I shall meet you once I reach the very end of my row. So we can connect together and do one, one more row. So now I have just worked into my very last and if you see this, if you hold it like this, you're going to see this is our chain one that we made. That's where we're going to be slip stitching. Let me do that again. Just like that and we'll chain one to begin our last row of uh, the ribbing. So since our first was a front post double crochet, that's how you're, that's how you're going to maintain it. And you're just going to keep on going into the front post and the next one into the back post and then into the front post 
and into the back post this will be my very last row of the ribbon if you want yours to be quite thicker than this you can go on with several other rows but as for me this would be my last row so you go on doing that I will meet you once I have reached the very end so I can show you how I connect again and change color so I have just reached the very end of my row so what I'm going to do now is connect with a slip stitch at the top of my row my work this side And I will chain one and now it's time to uh, start working on the whole card again but to make a neater to make it easier to work into what we're gonna do is grab our four millimeter hook or whatever hook you're gonna be using for the rest of your work and we're gonna go around placing a single crochet in each stitch in each half double crochet that we made Alright, so this is the very first one right here and you're gonna count at the very end just to make sure you've got the right number as for me I chained 38 so I'm gonna make sure there's 38 single crochets all the way around so you go on doing that and I will meet you at the very end so I have just finished going around with placing my 38 single crochets all around the neck ribbing. So next we're going to slip stitch into the very first single crochet we made. Just like that and chain one. This is where you want to cut off your yarn. Since this is a sample, I'm not going to cut off my yarn. And then we'll grab your next color, assuming you're changing colors. If you want, you can do the whole thing in one color. And in the next color, um, you're going to chain two with it, just like that. And we'll be placing our very first double crochet right in the very place that we uh, chained one, the gray. So right in the same spot, we'll place our very first single crochet. This is one way of doing it, but if it's going to confuse you at the very end, you could just uh, slip stitch as we did. And you can chain one with the uh, new color, which is the orange for me. Oh jeez, come on. There we go. And then you can place in your double crochet. In the very same spot. I find this is an easier method to use since at the end of your row this V is all you're gonna look for to slip stitch into it. So you're gonna go on now. This is where you need to use your chart. Um, We can we either start from the front or the back. This was what we used for a cardigan but uh, right now we're just gonna close it. In the tutorial the link that I gave below we were it was a Sample for a cardigan, but now we're going to use it as a sweater. We're just going to close this little gap. So we're going to start from the front. So we're going to work into, for me that is, I don't know about you. I'm going to work into the very first 10 with my double crochet. So that was one, two, three, four, five. Six, ten. Just to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Yes, I've got ten. I have worked into the very front part. Now I have reached this corner right here. So that's where I need to do my first increase. So we chain one, uh, we'll double crochet once. Chain two and into the very same spot. I will double crochet again, and now I have reached where my arm is going to be. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double crochet into the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now I've reached my next corner. So right in the next corner, I'm going to double crochet, chain two, and in the same spot, double crochet. And I think you've got the idea. I'm going to crochet 10, reach your corner, uh, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and until I reach this corner, and then I'll meet you there. So now I have reached the very end of our first row. And it's time to slip stitch. So as I said, that V is what we're going to be slip stitching into. Just like that, we chain one and double crochet into the very first same V that we slip stitched into. And that's our first double crochet for the row. And we'll go on double crocheting into all the rows until we reach that very first increase that we made. And then from here on, the pattern is the same until you reach um, where you want to separate the arms and the body, of which that's going to be different for everyone, and it's going to depend on how you want it to fit. So I've reached my very first increase, and right in there, I will place my first double crochet, chain two, and place another double crochet just like that and then I will go on working so what I'm working on right now is the arm portion what's gonna turn into an arm and I'm almost at my next corner and we'll do the very same thing that we just did and what that will be doing throughout, do place a double crochet, chain two, and place another double crochet. And you will go on until you reach your other corner. Once you've reached the end, you will slip stitch into that chain one, and then you chain two, and go on until you uh, do the work until your arm is able to fit in properly. For the size extra small that I was making, I worked all the way up to 15 rows before the division of the arm. So um, depending on the size that you're making, if you're a medium, if you're an extra small, you're going to do 15 rows, assuming you're using the same, we're using the same hook size and the same yarn. Um, if you're small, you're going to do 20 rows, medium, 25, or I'm going to write that all down. It's going to be somewhere on the screen. So from here on, you're going to go on working in circles, increasing your yoke until you have, you have the size that you need. And I will meet you at the end. So now that I have worked several rows, for this small size, I have reached where now we can divide the arms and the body. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work up to my next, my next corner, the first corner, and I'm sure if you watched the tutorial that teaches you on the measurements, you saw how we divide. However, I'm going to show you anyway. So let me just work to this corner and I'll meet you there. So I have reached my first corner right here. So what I'm going to do instead of um, doing a double crochet, chain two double crochet, I am just going to place two double crochets in there. And now I will go on and chain four. Find my next corner, which is this one right here. And I'll hold it like this since I'll be going this side from here. And I will work two double crochets in there again. 
just like that and I will go on with my double crochets and I will go on with the double crochets until I reach this corner which I will show you and we can do the chain four again so we have completely divided the arms from the body so I have reached the next corner I will go on and place my two double crochets in there chain four uh oh I have just run out of yarn three and four okay I'm gonna grab the extra yarn and I will I'm gonna work over this wrap over this holding both the little strand I have if I'm not careful I'm gonna lose it grabbing the next corner which is this one right here holding it like this and I will place two double crochets in there one and two and I'm gonna work over this tail that I have here So I'm gonna go on working until I connect, I join the row. And I'll meet you once I get started on the new row. So I had already gotten started on the new row. Um, the main focus is I wanna show you how you're gonna work over the chain four that we did. And I am almost there. So you're gonna wanna see your chain from down like this. So it's easier for you to notice. So this is the very first chain we made. So that's one. That's two. Three. And four. So that's the four chain four that we did to divide the um, arm from the rest of the body. And now from here, we're going to be going into the very first chain that we have on this side <laughs> just like that and you're gonna go on you're gonna do the very same thing for the other armhole and you're gonna work on down until i mean if you want to change colors like i did it's up to you if you want to go on with the very same color you're gonna go on with the same color i'll meet you when it's time for me to change onto the gray which is just, I'm um, just gonna do a few more rows since this is a very tiny one. So now I've done several rows of grey and I'm about to do the bottom band. So I'm gonna grab my 3mm hook, chain one, and go around with a row of half double crochet. Just as we were doing for the neck. And then after we go around with this row of half double crochet, we're gonna go around again with a row, two rows of um, back post and front post half double crochets. So I'm just gonna finish around with this row of half double crochet and I will meet you again just to remind you how we do the front post and the back posts and then we'll together we'll do the arms, we'll finish off the arms. So I got a bit carried away and started the first row without you, but I'm going to do the last row on camera. So the first one was a front post double crochet, half double crochet, and so I shall continue with the front post half double crochet. And the next one being a back post half double crochet, just like that, and we're just going to go around front post, back post, double crochet until you, you're you done with your two rows and then I will meet you when we now get to work on the arms so um, you guys go on doing this and I will meet you at um, when it's time now to um, start doing the arms so I've uh, completed one arm. As you can see, I went on with the orange. I didn't switch colors. So to get started on the arm, um, I like to start on the underarm. That's where I want the seam to be. 
So you're gonna go at the corner, the very first single crochet or chain that we may have made. Right in there is where we'll begin our row. So I like to just make a slip stitch on my hook like that. And then I insert my yarn right in there. And pull it through and form a single Oh, come on, single crochet just like that. And as we have been doing, we'll work over this tail right here. In the very same spot, we'll place our first double crochet. And we'll go on working over the chain four that we did. Just like that. And depending on how long you want your arm to be, you either um, let this go on. This is my last chain down here. Right there. And I like to just skip this since this isn't really a chain, but if you want you can work into it since I want mine to have quite a grip I like to just go in there The hole really this is not gonna be much of a bother since it's just gonna fit into the other holes Right there. So as I was saying, um, you can make the sleeves very long if you wish All you have to do is keep on going in circles but as for me, um, I'm gonna stop after a few rows. So I'm gonna keep on going in the round and I'll meet you once we reach here. So I show you how you can connect and start a new row. So I have reached the end and I'm just gonna slip stitch into that very first, um, the single crochet that we made. Just like that, chain one, yarn over and right in there, place my second, my first double crochet. And continue working in the rounds once the arm reaches the length you desire that's where now you're gonna switch to the smaller hook and color if you wish and just do what we've been doing here and down here at the band where you make this um, the ribbing around the arm and you just go on doing that and your sweater top is complete I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. I had a fun time making it. I hope you have a fun time making it too. Do not forget to subscribe, like and leave a comment down below and even share it to a few friends who might enjoy making it. Bye bye for now.